Say something shocking now. Uh, First thing that comes to mind. Uh, poop. I don't know. <laughs> poop. I don't know. <laughs> I would have gone. I would have gone further than that. Luckily, I wasn't asked that question. I'm Oliver Trevina here at the Young Hollywood Studio with this mischievous duo, Jeremy Dozier and Juno Temple. How are you? Good, thanks. I'm great. Good. Well, Dozier, which he's going to develop into. I right, think. right. Now it's I Hollywood. become fancy. Now it's I'm Hollywood. from Texas, so it's just Dozier. Just okay. very normal. You're already fancy. I, well, thank you. Looking very thank dapper. You. And Clarence here. Clarence. Juno names her bags. And this is Clarence. This is Clarence. <laughs> Do you name everything? It's quite strange. No, but things that I really love have names. Okay. <laughs> if, if you belong to Juno and you don't have a name, now you know you're not loved. <laughs> That's great. You've just dropped yourself in it. Um, you are a dirty girl in the movie, not a dirty girl in general. I'm dirty girl. Danielle, nobody likes a dirty girl. Being naughty at school and then going out on this road trip. Yeah, and I think it, well, it's also like about like discovering yourself in high school and figuring out those relationships. And they have this weird incident where kind of fate brings them together and then they just take it that step further. You're taking me to California. I can't steal my dad's car. It's my chance. The film has a great message uh, where it talks about building this family unit amongst your friends. Don't judge a book by its cover. Never judge mm -hmm. a book. Very good, very good that was, Juno. But you will name things if you love them. <laughs> I love that. It's fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna comment on Clarence anymore. Jeremy, you're quite, this is your breakout really, It is, isn't it? it's my first film. I, I auditioned for this, I know. I, uh, I auditioned for this four years ago whenever I was a senior at the University of Texas in Austin and just kind of sent in a tape that I made in my dorm room. And a few days later I heard from Abe and then didn't hear from them for six months, and then I flew to LA and auditioned in person, and then I didn't hear from them for a year and a half. And so by the time I finally got the phone call that I had the part, it was like, thank you, Jesus. Because <laughs> it had been a process to get it. You've got the little things like this, haven't you? That you keep doing in the movie. Yeah, the little, uh, yeah. my hands are dolphin. Because uh, yeah. <laughs> I was watching it and I really want to. I can't do that. You do it, do it in the, I've seen it in the car a couple of times. Oh yeah, whenever. Oh. That was her stunt double that did all that. <laughs> I feel for you, she, yeah. I can see how this must be there. Yeah, yeah. She instantly forgets things that she mm -hmm. wants to forget. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can work it out. Outrageous. I'm Selective just, memory. Saying. Selective memory. Outrageous. <laughs> I remember what you were talking about. How was it working with your uh, amazing parents, both of you, in the movie? I mean, it's like going to drama school when you shoot a movie with those kind of actors, yeah. you know what I mean? You learn so much. I have reason to believe that my son has run off with your daughter. Oh God, I should have never left her alone. Listen. Horny children are the least of my worries. They'll turn up, they always do. My son is gay! Oh. William H. Macy, Mila Jovovich, and Tim McGraw as well. You had, you had three of them, didn't you? I had Greedy. three parents. Greedy. I know, but one I didn't want. After your mother and I are married, I'm going to adopt you. The hell you are! Let's not give too much away right there. <laughs> We've got a quiz for you. Okay. Um, and it's kind of school-based. School okay. I hope it's not math. What's your favourite subject? Here? English. English? Mine too. English. What's your worst subject? Math. Yeah. Wow, you two are very similar. What was your first detention and why? Smoking. Detention? <laughs> detention. I, it's like uh, being naughty. Right, right, right. I, I never got detention. I was kind of a goody two shoes in high school. Wow. Yeah. Maybe you can help you with a few problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when was your first kiss? 14. Yeah, in high school later on then. No wonder you got into this character. <laughs> no trouble for you, was it? Method acting? Was you a class clown? Was you? Didn't, no, you? I was quite quiet. I got a bit nervous. Okay. I was a little bit of a class clown. I, I'm one of those people that I like to say shocking things just to make people laugh. Say something shocking now. Uh, First thing that comes to mind. Uh, poop. I don't know. <laughs> poop. I don't know. <laughs> I would have gone. I would have gone further than that. Luckily, I wasn't asked that question. Best answer. Jeremy. Oh. Are you kidding me? You were so much better at shaking it than I was. No, but you were like really sexy when you danced. I was just like there. I don't know. I think I, I found you extremely sexy when you oh, danced. Oh, well, moves. thank you. And on that note, I think we've covered enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll quickly wrap this up before I say too much and start really hitting on Jeremy. 